Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you Email Verifier Pro 4.5.2 latest updates. So as you can see after login, we are on the dashboard and we also change the menu layout. As you can see, we have a profile. We are going to the visit the profile. So here's the uh, latest profile layout which you can see. So you'll find the language option to be select. As you can see, the language has been updated to Netherlands. You can also assign your own language. Okay, let's head over to the list validation. I have already added one of the list item here, as you can see. So I'm going to re-upload this same list on the system. This uh, dynamic column mapping. So uh, I have only single col column on the CSV and i'm going to assign it as email because this column is supposed to be email address and for reconfirming our mailboxes if i plan to verify the mailbox then i have to check this option by checking this option it will send the actual email to the list validated addresses on the csv click import and refresh page Okay, I leave this for ver verify. Once this validation is complete, it will look like this task. So this one is already completed with the validation, as you can see. And we have given two more extra options, which is reconfirming the validated mailbox and also assigning a task on this list. So as you can see, the validation is complete and we have given a tag list option and also reconfirming the validated mail box from the list and if you click at that option and it's asking us to wait and this cooldown period will be over uh, once this minute expires and this only appears when you enable the confirm mailbox option otherwise you will get the result output instantly but having this uh, enable allows you to get 100% accuracy with the response of the mailbox uh, existence and here you can see uh, this is a tag list so I'm going to assign the tag list uh, let's use this list instead so I'm going to create a tag list Apple company so I'm going to name this list as an Apple company and as this uh, already verified uh, more than five minutes ago so we will be able to confirm this list after the reconfirmations, our data will be updated and spinning will be changed. And once this happens, uh, you will get a second scan competition email on your registered email address. Then go to the late management and these are the scanned data I have completed. And here you can see the filtering options and we also have the tag specific filter which we have already created the apple company so we can filter it for this list you can also export the csv from here then go to the email campaign here you can create the email campaign for your list apple company and also you can select the smtp email server which you have made for using for email campaign okay and you can assign suppose uh let's select this one or this one maybe okay test subject hello campaign and if you plan to assign an unsubscribe link in your email campaign uh, then you can enable it so it will show an unsubscribe link on the email campaign and user can click on it uh, to get their email removed from the email campaign list so you can create the list here by clicking it confirming the data and it has been created okay so to launch this list as you can see it's only uh, received the four uh, but we have validated eight of email addresses because we, it only count the validated email addresses from the system you can click start and it will be dropped for dropped in QE for email verification and you can click on start and it will start processing the email campaign 
let's go to the user management so this is the user management page and as you can see uh, these are the data you can manage for the user you can suspend them or you can promote a user to a staff member so they can access to the user management and all the other options on the script page so they can access all the other options of the email verifier pro just like an admin but an staff member cannot remove or delete admin account then we have credits let's go to the purchase and this is the purchase page by clicking on it it will show the payment providers and it's saying asking me to activate a payment gateway for checkout because i haven't activated one then we have the orders so once someone places an order you'll get the history here then we have settings we have changed the settings look on the new updates so here the site type white label options this is the user registration ip protection option this is the sign up credits if you plan someone to keep free credits during sign up ip protection don't allow you to sign up with duplicate ip addresses and this is the registration get this is the features control so if you plan to deactivate any kind of features then you can enable it and it will go away suppose i am i do not longer regard the email camping option and email camping option will be removed from the menu i do not plan to provide multi-scan process system so you you have the option or capability for users to keep uh, like they can scan more than one csv at a time so you can plan to deactivate that and they will be able to scan or validate only one list so if they click list a for validation and then again click list b for validation during a on the run it will be automatically closed okay and the black list monitor is the new options we which have added with improved ui this is an script updates monitor if there's any kind of update available then on the head section you'll be notified the system lock scan lock and smtp lock so you can get more details of the script how it's running how it's working and what is the issue created this is the theme settings front end template which i have already added in our previous version so nothing was changed there and this is the notification settings uh, we have assigned the smtp notification here so if you plan to use any kind of external smtp then you use the smtp otherwise you just assign your local mail exchange server email address here okay then on the email scanner you can see this is the email scanner we added a new features smtp command so on some specific gps server system uh, we have noticed that ehlo does not uh, work properly so we have uh, added a switch so you can move to the hello or hello and here you can see the total email to batch process has been increased to 50 for both regular and SAS and it's can time out so this is inbox checker settings uh it getting used for confirm mailbox so make sure the access information which you use for smtp and the imf config are on the same server and for the smtp you can also use any kind of a transactional email server provider to send the email bulk email uh, and make sure the imf config actually have a mailbox exist and it's working with the same access information and this is the scan tasker or we have improved that scan tasker system and here you can generate the task hash and you apply that on the cron job uh, one is uh, for scan tasker we assigned a one minute value and for the campaign cron job we have assigned a one hour value but you can modify the campaign cron job or as per user uses or your smtp limit then we have a list import limit which is 100k you can uh, modify this to any value you like but we have assigned a default value of 100,000. then let's go to the wallet system so there's nothing much has been changed except we have added two options like payment currency symbol and payment currency which you can apply here and 
as usual we have the add-ons active here not active here and you can select it for activating them and it will give you two more options specific to those uh, payment gateway then we have the filters and filters here you can manage the filtering options so mx server filter settings is for any kind of SMTP connection failed error occurred during the scan of any kind of mail server then it will be automatically assigned here and you can remove that if you plan to recheck that mail box again also you can manually add any kind of mx server response here and to filter this out and not to scan on those then we have the license details page and the domain filter settings is the previous one so there's nothing much to explain but it allows to filter the specific data value given on the list of the script also you can add more data as you like on from the right side of the panel then we have the add-ons page Here you can see the our given add-ons for SAS license and here's the blacklist monitor so these are import blacklist monitor with huge database 165 so I'm cross-checking the IP address uh, this is the default IP address uh, which is visible on the system whenever you visit the blacklist monitor but it's editable so you can check any server ip or domain name here okay the scan is complete and let's say uh, the listed one so as you can see this ip is already listed on two places okay so uh, to check more details you can click on this list button and it will show you the reason if it's false positive or actually true it's saying that before you send it please read district court uh, court or so sign justification of the judgment even is saying single spam message cause violation of personal rights and response code here is given and here is the uc protect.net your ISP as AS color crossing so as you can see uh, it's because of the ASN is on the color crossing and which is why it's listed otherwise it's IP is good so with, if your IP is uh, suppose your IP address is actually uh, ASN is actually uh, block listed like the main IP service provider uh, IP range is listed on the blacklist then don't use that kind of IP address for using email verifier pro so I'll definitely suggest to use any kind of like a contable server or VPS their IP is actually really good and their ASN is not blacklisted on the online so you can use contable or Racknerd you can also try Racknerd so make sure whenever before you using the email verifier pro you always use the port checker uh, file which we provide on the email verifier pro documents so you download that and upload that on the vps and make sure you run it to pre-check the system actually are capable to install this script and using it also you can make the questions to your vps provider if they block port 25 or not okay then we have the support page clicking this will redirect you to official support page of email verifier pro and it's only visible to admin then we have logs let's visit the scan log it's showing no logs data and all the system log here we can see how the process is uh, starting if any kind of issue happens then you can forward this log data to support then we have the SMTP log. There's no log data. Okay. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's validate something like okay. 
let's go to the scan log here you can see the scan log has been recorded here and if there any kind of email address validation issue happens then you can forward this log data to the support also so we can recheck the issue and confirm if the response is correct or not and how to improve the data in future so so far this is the email address validation system for, uh, with the new update on the email verifier pro looks like okay we are planning to implement api in next few months and we are working on that so looking good for us um, if you guys have any kind of questions or interested about email verifier pro SAS license then feel free to contact us on the support and we'll be trying to give you as much information related to the script and we have official documentation of email verifier pro which you can which can be found from the website and here's the documentation we already updated the application features on the documentation and you can go through the its features to read more in details about them okay I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and learned more about Email Verifier Pro and its process of working. So, thanks for watching.